We are committed to helping community members recover from the financial turmoil and new pressures created by COVID-19, and one of those is food insecurity. KSBY News reporter Aaron Fay spoke with local food bank managers to find out how they're operating to meet the needs of the community. Food banks on the Central Coast have been working in overdrive for the past 12 months, but even though there's now a vaccine to combat the coronavirus, the battle for an economic rebound will take some more time. Just because we have a shot in our arm doesn't make up the fact that some people have been out of work for over a year. Since the start of the pandemic, food banks in San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties have been working to meet a higher demand and to safely distribute food to people who need it. From the very beginning, we had to rethink how we did everything. So much of what we do and what our agency partners do revolves around bringing the community together, which was the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do during the pandemic. Both counties offer multiple locations and days, as well as drive up options and socially distanced pickups. We continue to operate at an elevated level, still seeing about twice the amount of food going out every month. So demand is still high and we're keeping at it. We were serving more clients, but in addition to that, our existing clients needed more assistance and needed more food. In 2020, Slow County Food Bank distributed nearly 2 million more pounds of food than in 2019. For the food bank in Santa Barbara County, distribution doubled from about 9.7 million in 2019 to 19.5 million pounds of food in 2020. This does not count the meals given when the food banks partnered with community groups and schools. And the food banks have been collaborating with local farms and businesses to supply nutritious meals to the community. During the pandemic, rather, we've uh, received close to seven and a half million pounds of locally donated food. So that's food that's coming from donors within the county. That's from our local agriculture sector, commercial retail sector, and from individual donors. We actually have a, a fairly strict nutrition policy, and I think one of the things we've been most proud of is we've been able to stick to that throughout the pandemic, um, and we've also never run out of food, even though at times it seems like we've been close to that. One thing is certain, Hansen says the increased need for food will continue for years, not months. In San Luis Obispo, Aaron Fay, KSBY News.